question is, how can we improve the way we learn to navigate? We began our work looking at the brain. We're Andrea's Brain! I'm Andrea's Brain Step. I regulate heartbeat, breathing, sleeping, and other subconscious functions. I'm Andrea's Cerebellum. The Cerebellum regulates muscle coordination and balance. I'm Andrea's Occipital Lobe. The Occipital Lobe controls our vision. I'm Andrea's Temporal Lobe. I control memory. On the right, I control music and emotions, and on the left, I control language. We're Andrea's Frontal Lobe. The Frontal Lobe controls logic and decision making. It also controls imagination and learning to play sports and musical instruments. I'm Andrea's Motor Cortex. I control her movements. The right side of the brain controls the left side of the body. I'm Andrea's Sensory Cortex. I process sensations. I'm Andrea's Parietal Lobe. On the right side, I help her with recognizing a 3D object by touch, rotating a 3D object in her head, mental math, construction, and navigation. Navigation! The brain you are born with is the brain you will have for the rest of your life. If you lack in a certain skill, you're going to have to learn to live without it. Actually, that's not true at all. People can change old neural pathways and even develop new ones. This idea is called neuroplasticity. It has been proven that by targeting a stim and stimulating a certain area of someone's brain, they can develop an entirely new skill and even overcome a learning deficit. We learned this while talking to our experts, Barbara Air Smith young and her team. Can this idea help me with my navigation problem? Of course. We know your problem is in your private lobe. Our solution is to use the idea of neuroplasticity through the game we've created to target this part of your brain and help it grow. We've also developed a full-length test to assess your current cognitive abilities. This is one part of the four-part game we have created, as well as our test. What you're going to do is you're going to fit um, these three puzzle pieces onto that piece of paper. You can manipulate them any way you want in your mind. Are you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> was created to improve your spatial sense. What you do is feel the shape and try and draw it as accurately as possible. Use your left hand because navigation is on the right side of your parietal lobe. We, we want to stimulate the right side of your brain so you use your left hand and left eye. Great job, Andrea. Four months later. This is an example of neuroplasticity in action. The more Andrea does the cognitive exercise, the more neural pathways are formed and strengthened. Our innovation is to create a four-part game out of brain stimulus, which we call What Happened to the Rubber Chicken. The game has four parts. What happened to the rubber chicken? What happened to figure A to turn it into figure B? This deals with object rotation in the parietal lobe and helps when translating a map. Blind Emu. You're blindfolded and you follow a set of verbal directions and have to point to your original starting position. This relates to body awareness and creating mental maps in your head from verbal directions. Anatomy of a Platypus is a smaller version of the test that you saw earlier that involves rotating figures to fit them into a larger outline. This connects with object manipulation and helps when navigating with a map. Feel the Llama involves reaching into the mystical magical box and drawing the shape you feel with your left hand. This connects to creating a mental loop to help a person get most efficiently from point A to point B. The game is accessible, affordable, and fun. You can play it alone or with up to eight friends. It can be separated into four parts or played together as a great family board game. Here, Andrea, this will help you. I can play it in the boat. I can play it with a goat. I can play it in the rain. And in the dark. It helps my brain. And in a car. And in a tree. It is so fun. So fun, you see. After playing this game for four months, I no longer get lost. 